how are you doing? How's the family doing now? That, that's a question I keep getting asked. And the family is doing, I mean, much like any other family would be doing if a murderer went free. Do you think it's, do you think it's fair to call him a murderer after a grand jury found him um, that it, there was not enough evidence or cause to indict? Absolutely, when you look at the grand jury, and you gotta break down exactly what he said in his testimony. And see, that's what I don't think a lot of people are paying attention to. So those, many would deem that as an inflammatory statement, right? Much as uh, the husband uh, of Michael Brown's um, uh, mother. And so you saying he's a murderer. And then on the night that the, the announcement was made, you, there's a video of him standing on top of a car, I believe, or something, screaming, we're going to burn this bitch down. Let's take a look at it, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. He just spoke out of anger. Thing to speak, and it's a different thing to act. He did not act. He just spoke out of anger. So you said murderer, and again, many people would say that's inflammatory. So, um, the police are now looking into whether Lewis Head may have incited uh, rioting there in a crowd. What do you think of that? I feel that what Lewis did was pure emotion, pure emotion. But here's what I will say, that if you're going to bring Lewis in for to for the act that he just committed, then I think you need to bring in his co-conspirators also. And that would be Bob McCullen and Governor Nixon. How would they be his co-conspirators? Are they the cause okay. for the looting and the rioting? Let me break that down to you. Why, let's say you had a pit bull, Don, and you let him out once and he bit a dog. He tore a, a chihuahua apart. So you bring him back in, you lock him up, but then the very next day you let him out again and he, you, you already know what he's gonna do, right? You already know, because you didn't take the time out to correct the problem that you had. So let's think about, let's think about it like this. Let's think about Bob McCullough. Look at the time he decided to release that decision. He waited until nine o'clock at night in the dark. All the schools are out. All the teenagers and all the young cats who looted the first time are right there waiting in the middle of the street. And he even pushed it back an hour to incite it a little bit more. So then we go to Governor Nixon, who brought in what, what was it, some ungodly amount of about 200 National Guardsmen, but where were they when things were burning? It may he sound, held them back. It may sound to people that you're deflecting from what Lewis Head did and that you're condoning and blaming it on the governor and the prosecutor. Absolutely not, absolutely not. See, there's a wrong, but then you gotta know why that wrong was committed. You, you understand what I'm saying, Don? What you saw out of Lewis was pure, raw emotion. And if I were to take it to court, if I was his lawyer, I would call it temporary insanity. And I would have a great case for it because he just witnessed the man who murdered his son, his stepson, go free. So what do you think of the looting a and the rioting? Case. The looting and the rioting is absolutely disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. There is no reason why you should ever burn a police car, burn a building down. But there's, all, there, I mean, there's also no reason why you should ever burn a city down after a soccer game. Mm -hmm. But we don't give that that much attention.